Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. In the last episode, we began our paper-filled nostalgia trip of a journey of two legendary worlds mixed into one major adventure, and with the world of Mario and Luigi now filled with the paper beings of the Paper Mario universe, we're now not only just dealing with one Bowser, but two, and with two Bowsers means... Not only are we dealing with one army, but two, one paper, and one flesh and blood. Overall, an interesting start to our seemingly final journey in the world of the role-playing games of Mario & Luigi's series. But also a nice little reintroduction to the world of Paper Mario as well. And honestly, definitely going to be pretty cool, but uh, with that being said, we're officially in. And we're no longer in the castle anymore, so we're definitely ready to start making our way through our new world here. And also, there is a save album in this game, so we will definitely make sure to read through this real quick. Make sure, make your way through Sunbeam Plains. And honestly, Sunbeam Plains definitely sounds like a pretty interesting place. But here we go. And technically, this is our first real adventure in the Mushroom Kingdom, technically, because Partners in Time... While we didn't really walk around Mushroom Kingdom, we were teleported in different parts in the same time in different areas. But this time we're actually making our way around the Mushroom Kingdom in the Mario & Luigi universe, so this is going to be pretty interesting. But here we go. It's Mario, and it looks like the real deal this time. You can definitely say that, to <laughs> that for sure. Well, technically speaking, the other guy was real too, right? I mean, sure he was flatter. It was weird how he floated down from the sky, but does that make him any less real? Anyways, whatever. Let's get him. <laughs> well, you can definitely try, but uh, it looks like they have seen Paper Mario somewhere. Um, well, guys, um, I just remembered something really important. When enemies are about to attack you, you might notice a funny little circle around your feet. Um, you know what? Let me just show you. Okay. Oh, hey, would you mind attacking Mario? No offense, but you couldn't hurt a fly. That's why he chose you. Jeez, nice to make him mad. Um, hold it. Mario, look at your feet. Yep, I see the circle. We saw this in the last one, though. So they are actually going to mention it. Which I was honestly thinking they would, because it is something new. Um, when you see a red target like this, it means the enemy is aiming at you. Um, now's your chance to do what you were born to do. Jump! Okay. And, uh, you made me jump a little early. Because he backed up a little bit. Um, stop. Don't take another step. Um, guys, look at your feet. Um, targets with dashes like these mean that either of you could be attacked. You're going to watch the enemy closely right up until the last second. Okay, so... Okay, so, well, I didn't even get the chance to jump there, to be fair. But, um, so, there's one that specifically tells you that you're being attacked, and one that tells you that either person could be attacked. Okay, got it. Okay, that seems easy to understand. Um, did you catch that? If y'all said we can move on, or can't we can totally talk about this enemy's secrets behind his backs? Um, we're all set. Um, <laughs> I knew you two would get the hang of this quickly. Um, having a hard time finding, figuring out who is being targeted. Well, you should try using assist. Turning on takes the guesswork out of defense. Um, wanna give it a try? Sure, we'll try it out. Just once, though. We, we probably won't need it, but it is worth at least checking it out. Um, alright. Just press the start button to activate it. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see how it changes things. So I'm guessing it's always gonna be- yep, it's always gonna be red. That's pretty nice. Um, wait, see that? When the assist is on, you always know who is being targeted. Um, you know what to do, Mario. Jump. Okay. That seems easy enough. Cool. Um, don't sh be shy about turning assist whenever you need a little hope, okay? Okay. I might- maybe turn it on if we're having really, really hard times dealing with certain types of enemies, but I'm going to try and keep it off, just because I don't think we're going to need it, but it might come in handy later. It might. You never know. But, um, 
it might come in handy. But, uh, yeah, we don't know for sure exactly what we're going to be dealing with in this game yet. So, honestly, also the backup of the Goombas is something new that they normally didn't do before. So we need to be ready for those too. But yeah, definitely, it's nice. And also, just getting started. Okay, so those points we saw in the shop are actually excellent expert challenge points. Ooh, so we know, need a lot of them to get what I actually want out of that. Because we want to get that power scarf at, at some point. And, uh, well, that's something we usually use on Mario in these games. So getting that would be pretty good. Oh, hey, you just completed the expert challenge. Every time you complete an expert challenge, you'll earn points. And you can exchange those points for awesome new gear in the gear shop. Well, that's good to hear. But, uh, honestly, based on the previous game, anything that comes out of the expert challenges... Honestly, the items were pretty, like, decent, some of them, but for the most part, yeah, we pretty much didn't get really much out of it, because, uh, it is based on completion rate of the expert stuff for the items that you get out of that stuff, but uh, I guess maybe. It depends. Um, tap here to see a list of expert challenges you can attempt. Give them a shot whenever you, um, what have you got to lose? We already understand it, but thanks, Starlo. Always good to be reminded about that just in case they got some extra coins for that and it looks like we're now officially you know in the main game now actually missed that jump surprisingly i thought i would hit that to be fair but uh i need to get used to that uh backup though that is something that uh well one we haven't dealt with goombas in a very long time but two uh definitely the backup is something we need to be remembering, because if I don't remember that, we're going to just take free damage on the easiest enemies in the game. So, definitely need to remember that, so wait for me back up, like that, and there we go. Just need to get that in my skull that they back up during their attack, and they don't just immediately walk into you like they normally would. But, uh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, we didn't get an excellent there. Actually, I'm kind of curious. We didn't get any badges at the beginning like we did in Dream Team. So I'm kind of curious, or like see like a bad shop or anything like that. Um, so I'm kind of curious if, uh, oh, hello. Not exactly sure what that was supposed to be, but I think it's based on the fold. Oh yeah, it's definitely based on the fold that the Goomba takes. Okay, I think I got your defense, but Paper Goombas, you're definitely gonna need to try harder there, buddy. But yeah, for the fact that there wasn't a bad shop inside the castle, it makes me think that we might not see badges in this game. I'm not 100%. That's going for Mario. But yeah, it's definitely based on the way that they fold themselves on who they attack when they go for the either. Oh, Crumble. What does Crumble do? Oh, makes them, I think, maybe lose their turn. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Oh, that's an interesting new status effect. I'm guessing it only can happen on paper characters then. But what would happen to Mario and Luigi, then, if they were to take a similar type of, you know, status? Because I would think that they would be able to take that, but that means maybe Paper Mario can take that same status effect. But it looks like, oh, Triple Luigi and Double Mario. I like those kind of coin challenges. <laughs> those are easy. <laughs> Wasn't sure if that was going to be a fur coin challenge or not, but, well, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> Thankfully it was, but... If they're going to be like that, I'll definitely take it, because those are definitely easier than just spamming the A button to get the uh, get the job done, or spamming the B button until you eventually get all your coins from the blocks. But we saw one of those earlier for regular coins too, but it went between Mario and Luigi back and forth, and not one that you stand under. And then you just press A and B until you, know, you get all the coins based on who's being shown. But both Mario and Luigi both got a level up, which is pretty cool. So, level 2, here we go. And honestly, I'm kind of curious on how... Oh, Stash is going up! So, no more worrying about Stash never going up again. Thank you. Okay, so it started in Paper Jam then. Because we saw it in Bowser's Inside Story with the remakes of the game. But in the normal one, the Stash wouldn't go up like that. So that's cool. Okay, so 2 HP, 1 BP... 2 power, 1 defense, 2 speed, 1 stash. Not a bad level up. Honestly, I'm... Oh, wait a minute. 
I didn't get to choose what I wanted to level up at the end there. Oh, okay. Well, 3 HP, 1 BP, 2 power, 2 defense, 2 speed, 2 stash. So I'm not allowed to choose a bonus. Really? That's different. Okay. So no more bonuses. Okay. Well, but now we don't have to worry about worrying of not getting the best bonus anymore. But uh, they ended up bringing it back, obviously, with Bowser's Inside Stories remake. But that's weird to get rid of it. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, honestly, I'm not too bothered by it. Because in the last game, we did kind of have the... Not the easiest time with it, to be fair. Also, still no counterattacks on the paper Goombas. But, uh, regular Goomba is a different question. Wait a minute, that didn't give me the red circle, though. That's... Oh no, that was that was either or. Wait a minute, got confused. I got confused with them somehow. I was like, they got me... I, I was like, I got really confused for a second. I, was, I forgot that it's only for the... That they specifically mentioned that it was only for certain ways. Okay. So, just need to get that under under the belt, too. It is a little weird to have um, it not show the white circle, though, to be fair. But not too bad. Nine experience for the fight. Pretty decent experience for starting area, that's for sure. But, uh, honestly, any kind of uh, coins we can get, that would always come in handy. Because the thing is, is I did go back with the coins that we gathered in the last episode, and I bought some, uh, well... I bought the... I'm trying to remember exactly what exactly I got, but I think I bought a hammer for Mario, and then I also bought the pants, uh, or the gear slash uh, overalls for Mario, because he has lower defense than Luigi. The gloomy woods above us, Sunbeam Plains to our rights. We're going Sunbeam. Oh, hey, a toad. Um, all my friends have been abducted by weird-looking versions of Bowser's minions, and all my surroundings are so much more vivid than normal. What is going on? Uh, honestly, it'd be hard to kind of tell you, buddy. Um, oh, of course. I must be dreaming. What a relief. Well, you're definitely not. Um, hi there. Um, eek, that freaky yellow ball is talking to me. Wake up, self, or at the very least, run away. Well, he's definitely gone. <laughs> Might be able to catch up to him. Um, wait, come back. Um, all right, fellows. Um, looks like we'll have to catch him. Definitely seems that way. <laughs> but, uh, definitely, I'm curious on where... Stop following me. Well, he's gone. He's definitely faster than us, by any means necessary. But I am kind of curious on where your Paper Mario could possibly be, because we heard from a Goomba, like, not even that long ago, that they saw him. So I'm kind of curious on where he could possibly be. I don't know where he was. Um, come on, that guy can shake a leak. He definitely can. He went to the right, though. Um, good point. I'm sure it will run into him again soon. For now, let's just keep moving forward. Okay, let's move on forward then. But yeah, we're not definitely not going that way. Because there's no way we're walking that way at any point at the moment. No bridge, nothing similar to actually make our way to where we want to go over for there. But it is weird that there's no walkway over there. Usually there would be something like that for us, but maybe with the fact that Paper Mario is obviously going to be giving us some new types of abilities, I would think, because all bros, bros abilities use every single one of the bros. Well, except for, I guess, partners in, time, or partners in time's a little different. Also, there's our counterattack. We got it. As soon as they jump, I think, is where you go for it. So basically... Or actually, more like when they hit the top. Actually, the top of their jump seems to be the answer. But, uh, well, I guess paper, like I said, with paper, uh, or not paper, I keep wanting to say paper, but uh, partners in time, that was technically not every single character was using their moves at the same time, I guess, too, and Bowser's Inside Story, so I guess maybe it will be separate abilities for Paper Mario, because technically he doesn't have... Like, well, he does have a, have partners in his games that he relies on. So I guess it's possible. Honestly, I'm not really sure on how that's going to work. Also, I think this is probably just for some extra coins. We'll see what we get. Because it, it says that you get a new high score whenever you hit it. So honestly, I'm kind of curious what our high score will be for just to be in general. 
Because probably by the, um, whatever we hit is more than likely going to be the high score forever. But, uh, looks like they keep letting you hit those, which is surprising. Wonder if you still get coins from it. Probably not, but it, it's kind of nice if it does. But, uh, definitely we've seen those before. <laughs> but let's see here. Yeah, it's at the top of their, no, not the top of their jump. Okay, so I did mistime it. So, it's right before they start sliding at you while in the air, is what the answer is then. Because we came down right by the time that he hit us. So, that is what's going on there. Okay. Honestly, not too hard. Honestly, we're in a starting zone, so obviously it's not going to be a hard type or group of enemies to fight whatsoever, but... It definitely will take some, like, a learning curve, because paper, the paper Goombas are definitely new enemies. Regular Goombas, not so much. But paper Goombas, for Mario and Luigi standpoints, are completely new. So, they're obviously going to take a little bit of time to understand. But yeah, it's, so I, I am definitely wrong on the, as soon as they hit the top. Because that's what I thought before. And also, this guy has yet to attack yet, so let's just take his turn away. <laughs> Sorry there, buddy. No turn for you. But uh, we will go for your little uh, Goomba guy back here, so we get another chance on the paper one. So let's see here. Okay, wait. Now. Okay, yep. Yeah, it's right when they start sliding. So that was... So the timing was a little off. But as soon as they start sliding, then you jump. Okay. Well, as long as I remember that, we should be perfectly fine for those guys, because they haven't changed up their attack patterns at all. But, uh... Honestly, if they're going to attack like that, we'll definitely be fine. But there we go. And we found another toad. Hello? Can anybody hear me? We definitely can. Um, look, it's a paper toad. Let's go see what his story is. Um, eek. Oh, oh, for a second I thought they were screaming at Starlo. Um, a g g g goomba Leave me alone. Well, we're definitely not chasing you. And I don't think that Goomba can chase you either. A pug can't squeeze through. Yeah, you're not gonna make it through. If we can't make it through, that's definitely not gonna happen for us either. Um, his flatness is pretty handy for getting through tight spots, but it makes it um, difficult to rescue him. Yeah, definitely you could say that again. Oh, Luigi got his head stuck. <laughs> um, we need to get you on out of there, because uh, you being stuck in a rock for the whole game would not be good for us. <laughs> But uh, I'm guessing this is more than likely going to be a, a Paper Mario ability here then. Because there's no way Mario and Luigi's getting through here. That's interesting though. But it does look like Mario and Luigi can still get over there. So I am kind of curious about that. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I am definitely trying to interpret some of the stuff we see. Because it is a mix between, you know, stuff we saw in the past with the Mario and Luigi universe. So it's kind of like... Figuring out things with baby steps all over again, because, well, technically, it changed up the landscape of Paper Mario quite a lot for the fact that, well, it's back into being an RPG again, which is pretty cool, because, let's be honest here, Paper Mario being an RPG is something I kind of miss, honestly, but Origami King and Color Splash were definitely pretty nice directions from what I remember from, uh, well, Sticker Star, but honestly, the Wii one was the first one that really changed that landscape. And no one really talks about that one being, like, everyone says Sticker Star's, like, bad, but to be honest, Sticker Star is good in concept of what it is. But, um, it isn't really as much of a Paper Mario game that... Nowadays, it can be counted as a Paper Mario game, because all Paper Mario games are always different nowadays, but for the most part, um, it is, um, it was the Wii one that started that, like, change in the Paper Mario games from being an RPG game, because that one was a platformer, and nowhere even close to a, uh, role-playing game, but honestly, it's not a bad game, it's more of the... The only reason why we never did it as a game for a series, which I might change my mind on, is it being a platformer. With the fact that we've been able to do a open world game on this channel with Pokemon, uh, well, 
obviously Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Well, obviously, technically Violet, but we did a mixture between Scarlet and Violet. But the thing is, is with the fact that we have done that, I feel comfortable enough to be able to do a platformer and maybe make it work. Because it has a pretty unique story to it. And it's not a bad story whatsoever. It's actually pretty, pretty good, honestly. So, eventually we'll definitely... Wait a minute. That's weird. Oh, so it lets you know when you're about to rank up. That's cool. Okay, cool. I'll I'll definitely take that. So whenever you're getting closer, these lights will start lighting up, letting you know you're almost to the next rank. Huh, okay. Well, 2 HP, 1 BP, 1 power, 1 defense, 1 speed, 1 stash. I am liking that I get stash every level, though. I am very happy about that, but levels are going to be heavily important, important, important in this game for sure. But, uh, well, that's a lot of Goombas. Hey, it's the one that we, uh, we crumpled up at the front. Um, look, guys, it's the creeps who messed me up. Uh, this don't look good. This looks like a paper cut in half. Don't tell me you forgot about uh, already. I'm the Goomba you crumpled. Um, yeah, it took me forever to iron out these creases you put in my face. Uh, it, it looks like you need a little bit more ironing, buddy. And I'm still looking a little folded. Anyways... I meant it when I said I'd be back with a bunch of my friends. I like how the Goombas are looking left and right every now and then. Uh, now you're gonna pay. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look good. Activating Super Goomba Super Wheel Super Wheel? Um, oops. We said Super one twice. You're going down. Okay, well, uh... Super wheel does not sound that, uh... Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. Oh yeah, that definitely... Oh, that's an A and B spam. Okay, uh, yeah, that's definitely not happening there, Mr. Steering Wheel. Uh, I'm definitely not getting crushed by you here, because uh, that does not look good. And that's a paper cut wheel if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, we got away from him. But, uh, I still hear the wheel. Oh, yep, I definitely hear the wheel. Hopefully that doesn't force damage on me, but, uh, well, I couldn't really dodge that, to be fair. Oh, it knocked us out. Um, how about that? But you didn't think we could do something that cool. That was pretty cool. Okay, you gotta keep it together. Don't let these paperweights get you down. Oh, please. The weakest of us is still a million times stronger than them. Oh, big words, little Goomba. Almost as big as your eyebrows. <laughs> that is true, they got pretty big eyebrows. It's almost a unibrow, to be fair. Um, get up, Mario. You can't lose to these guys. Um, oomph. We better go report this to Master Bowser. Oh, and I think we found him. Huh. Good old Paper Mario. <laughs> been, a, been a while since we've seen him. Um, whoa, what's happening? What is happening, actually? Um, youch. He's just, he's just laying on top of the stack. <laughs> We've never seen Paper Mario do that either. Usually if he does that, he gets damaged. Um, who does this little paper scrap think he is? We're gonna flatten you. I guess they forgot about him. Um, what? I meant, uh, what I said. He could get flatter than this. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not happening. But there we go. Good old Paper Mario. <laughs> and now, it's officially Paper Jam now. Because <laughs> now we have everybody. Or at least I think we do. I'm not sure if Paper Luigi will be on our team or not, like in Partners in Time where we had four allies. But we definitely have Paper Mario at least. Um, wait, that was actually Mario. Well, we've already beaten one Mario today. What's one more? Get him, boys. Prepare the ultra special, um, Stomper Wooly thing? Uh, we should really have agreed on a name before this, guys. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna stomp ya. I'd like to see you try. But looks like we're definitely getting ready for another Wheel of Doom. Um, wait just a minute. Also, Paper Mario has 16 HP. Hm, not bad. Um, are you the Mario that Princess Peach was talking about? Um, sorry that's vague. Did he come flying out of a book recently? That is indeed a guess. Um, great, Luigi and, um, the other Mario needs your help. It looks like he's definitely ready. And we can jump with the Y button. Okay. 
Well, good. Oh, wow, what was that? Um, I've never seen anyone jump so high. You can, and all you have to do is hold down Y? Yep, that is indeed true. Um, see, that gives me an idea. Try stomping on them. Okay, I could try. So, wait for them to roll at us and... Oh, didn't get the stomp, though. But not bad. Um, you know what? One of those paper toes gave me something that could come in handy here. Oh, here, it's a copy block. Oh yeah, the copy block. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. We got that in the last episode. Copy has been added to Paper Mario's command blocks. Okay, cool. Um, why don't you give it a try right now? Okay, we'll definitely try it. There we go, cool. So we have our new ability here, so let's definitely copy up. And now we're stacked like the Goombas. Oh, sweet. You make copies of yourself. Um, from the looks of things, I see there are about six of you right now. I wonder if that number can go up. Um, oh man, that super stacking, uh, thing, that was our idea. Yeah, sure, we've seen m many enemies like that in Paper Mario games. You're not the first, Goomba. And you can just make copies of yourself anytime. Not fair. Um, hey, it's not that simple, but if you had let me ex finish explaining, you'd know that. You'll have to spend a turn to make copies. But check this out. When you have copies and you get attacked, the copies will take damage for you. Well, that's good to hear. Just remember that your copies aren't quite as strong as you are. Every time you take damage, you'll lose at least one copy. Be careful. Well, I just thought of that. So, will Luigi still pick up Mario if Mario goes down? Also, didn't get the chance to drop down. I need to get the timing of that so we get those more often. Before you attack, look at the touch screen below. Oh, yeah, he does have something different. So he jumps multiple times. Okay, well, we'll definitely need to remember that one. But that is, that is exactly something I remember with Paper Mario. So, that's cool that's being translated here. Before you attack, look at the touch screen below. Okay, we're looking. If you want to put in copies to good use, watch your demo and then practice. We'll be fine, I think. So just press Y when we hit the Goomba, pretty much. That seems simple enough. But uh, we gotta remember we have six of them. But we got three of them. But not bad. But we do need to hit that multiple times, though. Um, that's a good stopping. Be but keep practicing, you can do even better. Um, I mean, if you can stop harder, you should stop harder, right? True. And it looks like the wheel does get smaller, though. Oh. Oh, that didn't count as me jumping on it. I thought it would be high enough. Okay. Well, it's not bad. But still, though. But uh, let's definitely try and get a couple of the jumps in here. There we go. We got a good five jump in there. Did ten damage. Three birds, one stone. <laughs> oh, mini wheel. Okay. Um, really? That doesn't count. Hmm. Okay. Surprised about that one. I'm going to get the free copy, though. Since it doesn't look like you get limited on that. So, we'll just take it just in case. I want to get the jump on this guy, though. There we go. Okay. It's not as hard as it. I was thinking it was. I was overcomplicating it. Let's try out the hammer, though. When all copies are holding their hammers high, press Y and go for an excellence. Okay. So, just wait for them all to hold the hammer up, and then you get an excellent. That's much easier than going for the multi-jump, but excellent paper hammer. Not bad. But you don't get multiple copies of them down. That's more for single target enemies then. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. But definitely remember Hammer is better for the regular enemies. Because the paper ones we need to jump on multiple times. But not bad. Excellent paper jump. And honestly, not bad. Pretty good. We got 50 of those points already. So we just need 1,100 more for our, for our scarf for Mario. It's just my luck that there are two Marios. Whatever. You haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, probably. Probably not. We'll probably see him again. We won't know exactly which one he is, but we'll definitely run into him again. But, uh, oop, <laughs> too much of a hug from, Mar from Luigi there. Uh, look a little crumbly there, Mario. Oops, that's too much love, Luigi love. For a new paper friend, I'm afraid. It definitely... Too much, yeah. <laughs> Always checking out Luigi. Yeah, he's not really your Luigi, buddy, but close enough. <laughs> Still same personality. Not sure what he's trying to say, though. 
you confusing him with Luigi from your world, didn't you? Actually, this Luigi is totally different. Uh, maybe. It's similar, but yeah, they did go on different adventures, so I guess yeah. I'm not to freak you out, but you might want to take a look behind you too. Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> I bet you this is surreal for Mario and Paper Mario. But it looks like they're getting along just fine. Just like how Bowser Jr. and Baby or er, and uh, Paper Bowser Jr. were doing. Oh, Kali! Wow. <laughs> Let's see if uh, yeah, pretty similar, but obviously in their own ways, but still pretty close. Oh, he trees are really good sync. Um, so Mario from the world in the book in Peach's castle. Um, hmm, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? It is. Um, hmm. I should call you Paper Mario then. It's a lot better. <laughs> I'll take that one over the other one. Oh, gotcha. Paper Mario is done. Okay, well, here we go. We have a team of three now, though. This is going to be interesting, especially jumping with the Y button during a battle is going to be weird. Because we're going to be controlling Mario, Luigi, and Paper Mario at the same time, it looks like. Okay, well, that's definitely going to be different, but we'll definitely be ready for it. Um, here's a skinny. There are now two Bowsers in this world. That means double the badness. And if those two Bowsers were to start looking, working together, well, that would equal evil, um, evil squared. Evil squared? Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Interesting way to put it, but I guess, yeah. Um, that was never my strong suit, but you get the general gist. And the three of you have to work together to save our kingdom. And help our paper friends to get back to theirs. Of course. That's what heroes do. Oh, excellent. With the double of the Mario power, we'll be have this thing sewn up in no time. True there. But Princess Peach never said anything about Paper Luigi, so I'm not sure if we'll be seeing him. So this could be our full party here. And for the time being, I'll probably count it as it, because we never got to really play as Paper Luigi in any Paper Mario game, to be fair. He was always, if you did get him, which in Origami King you kinda did, technically he battled on his own, you didn't select his moves or any of that, so technically, yeah, <laughs> Paper Luigi's never been playable, but it would be cool to see him, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be our full team. Paper Mario has joined your party. From here on out, you'll adventure together in a team of three. That is true. Oh, Paper Mario can jump with the Y button. Um, to make all three of you jump one after another, press A, B, um, A, B, Y. Um, if you need any help, just give me a holler, okay? Okay. Definitely noted. But there we go. We got a team of three now. We just gotta figure out how they want to line up. <laughs> but A, B, Y. Okay. Definitely gonna be a thing to get used to. Trying to think if uh, there's a way to make them all jump at the same time. I guess pressing all of them at the same is a way, but there's no specific button to make them jump at the same time. But we'll get used to it. Um, I think I'm good. So just press Y to make them jump. Okay, seems easy enough. But that has the color of Paper Mario, so yep, it's gonna jump between all of them. Interesting. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, our new spam block. Thankfully, it's not too bad. But uh, definitely interesting though. Super Mushroom, and obviously do another one like that. Not bad. Okay. Ooh, hello, Mr. Toad. Um, wah, let me go. Um, quit squirming. You're coming with me. Time for you to do some real work for a change. Um, oh no, it's Mario and company. I'm out of here. Um, well, there goes our Toad. Um, we gotta help that paper Toad. After them. Um, in a second. <laughs> I want to see what's going to happen with this. Oh, okay. So Paper Mario does join this too. Okay, Luigi, then Mario. There we go. Ten coins. I'm not sure if you always get ten coins, but I keep seeing bean holes here. I'm wondering um, how that's going to work on Paper Mario, honestly. Oh, hello. We got a Koopa. Okay, so definitely got to get ready for Mr. Koopa here. Because we don't know exactly how to deal with Koopas yet. Or, well, pair of Koopas, I should say. Because this isn't your normal, average Koopa. Also, I was actually expecting that to fly into Mario, but thankfully it didn't. But, uh, 
I need to remember that that red circle means they're only attacking one person. But not bad. Okay. Seems easy enough. But uh, we definitely need to jump on these paratroopers. Which one has more of a stack, though? It looks like the back one. Or the front-facing one. So let's go for the one on the foreground here instead of the background. But there we go. Not bad. Five coins. Also, paper coins drop from them. That's pretty cool. And also, it looks like Mario and Luigi can break down multiple paper characters in a row. Interesting. So maybe Paper Mario is better for 3D targets, technically. But uh, while Mario and Luigi are better for the paper ones, because they break multiple paper ones in a row, it looks like. But there we go, level 3 for Luigi. 2 HP, 1 BP, 1 power, 1 defense, 1 speed, and 2 stash. Almost to 30 already for, for Luigi for stash. That's not bad. I'll definitely take it if we can get it. But uh, definitely doing pretty good. That's for sure. But let's definitely head back the way we came. Since now we should be able to go through that little crack now. Or, or at least with Paper Mario. Somebody help us. Oh, hey, two toads. Well, at least we found two of them now. We still have yet to save a single one though in this area. But save the Paper Toads. And here we go. Okay, cool. But it does specifically, like, you know, give us a chance to know that there is a bunch of toads in an area. Which is good, because we weren't sure how that was going to work before. But now we have kind of a confirmation. Um, honestly... Oh, it says all. Wait a minute. Oh, what? That is kind of cool. Okay, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Paper Mario is better in general for AoE combat. Wow. Okay, that's... That's different, but that was cool. I like that. I really like that. Okay, Paper Mario is definitely uh, good in combat, that's for sure. Special, specifically in the Mario and Luigi world. Wow. Um, thank you so much. I don't want to get re-kidnapped, so I hope you don't mind if I stick close to you. It's all good, Mr. Toad. My papery toady uh, brethren are all hiding, but they can count on your help. Uh, you to help them, right? If you see any, please rescue them. We'll definitely try, Mr. Toad. But uh, first we gotta find them first. But we did see two of them. This one doesn't look like he's carrying one. Didn't get the chance to even jump there. But, uh, well maybe I can... If I can get it kind of like figured out on when to do the jump, that would be good. Also, forgot you, you tiptoe towards me. Need to remember that one. But, uh... Honestly, pretty cool about the hammer thing. I'm actually really happy about that because uh, being able to hit multiple enemies like that is usually a bro's ability kind of thing, but I'm not even sure if uh, Paper Mario even has to worry about bro's attacks. I guess we could look at his wheel again and maybe it'll let us know because that will be a good telltale if uh, he will have any special abilities to join Mario and Luigi or maybe it's in Mario and Luigi's wheel, if anything. But, uh, oh, something's going on with Paper Mario. Oh, guessing you want to go through there? Yep, he does. Let's send him on through then. Okay, now that we're actually on the other side of this wall here, let's definitely go and grab our toad that tried to run away earlier. But, now at least, now we know that we can separate Mario and Luigi from Paper Mario. Wonder if that's gonna be any kind of a big part of the game, because in the original Superstar Saga, Luigi got separated from Mario. So I'm wondering if we're going to be separating for chapters or not. Probably not, but it is a good question. I was hoping someone friendly would find me. This world can be quite terrifying. Thankfully, you appeared, so I'll count on you to lead the way. Okay, well you're definitely coming with us then. And now we have Paper Toad number two. But definitely, we still got a couple more to find. But let's definitely send uh, good old Paper Mario back. I'm kind of curious about this thing. Well, we can't see it from here, but there was a... Oh no, this one doesn't actually have one. But, um... Trying to remember exactly what it looked like to kind of explain it to you guys. But, uh, it looked like a bar coming out of the ground. That was, like, over an area. I'm pretty sure it was there, but I guess it's gone right now. But, uh, yeah, definitely... If it was there, I'm wondering what we do with those. Because those definitely look like something that might pertain to something like a uh, ability of some sort, uh, like a bro's, bro's attack or, bro, or well, bro's ability, but 
I'm not sure if Bros attacks and everything to do with Paper Mario will be the same or not. And I forgot to double check if he had a wheel for that. But um, it still shows 3D Red Shell for just Mario and Luigi though. So it doesn't look like Paper Mario will join those abilities. But um, I am quite curious on that though. Also kind of curious on how uh, Paper Mario's levels will work in this game. Oh, it's these guys. Um, okay, it's cool to see these guys. I wasn't expecting to see these enemies here. I actually don't know the name of these guys, but I see them all the time back in the, you know, the platformer games, but Biddy Buds. Okay, little Biddy, Biddy Bud. Um, not sure how to exactly deal with you, but jumping on you seems to do the trick. Okay, cool. So just jump on you until we can unstack you completely. Okay, but it looks like Mario and Luigi... Oh, actually, not enough for... Okay. Interesting. Well, you're definitely... Well, <laughs> you were going to wait for Mario, but I jumped too early. But, interesting. Okay. Huh. Well, honestly, I'm just glad to see a new type of enemy that, uh, honestly, hasn't been, you know, changed over and over before, because we've never seen a Biddy Bud in a Mario and Luigi game, so that's actually pretty cool to see them. Huh. Cool. But yeah, they're only usually in the platformer games, so seeing them in the base game is actually quite different. But I do like how you get a free jump on them if you do go for what we do, honestly. That's pretty nice. But down goes the blue one. But two extra damage to all of them before you actually start the fight is better than only doing a little bit of damage to the top one or getting rid of the top one completely. But, uh, oh, that was actually a... Very easy uh, counter-attack, actually. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder, but nope. <laughs> that gave us a little bit of damage to all of them, too, which is pretty good. But down goes another group of enemies, and honestly, a pretty simple one at that. Oh, there's a toad in here. Yeah, not happening. La la la. Oh, woohoo! You don't see many 3D blocks where I'm from, so I went kind of crazy there. Well, I've had my fun, so I guess I'll tag along with you all. Well, that sounds good to me. But get on in our pocket, little purple toad. <laughs> I do also like that we get to get, you know, extra dialogues like we did with the pillows. So I will definitely say I'm pretty happy about all the little uh, extra dialogues from the paper toads that we're going to get in this game. Because, let's be honest here, it's always nice to get some extra dialogue whenever they give you the chance. Oh, there's that, <laughs> that one attack that we saw in the intro when the paratroopas met the, uh, the regular paratroopas. But, um, I think the bottom stack is larger, I think. So we'll go for you instead. Make sure that stack is out of here. Okay, and then we'll obviously go for the last one left. And just like that, down they go. Down they go pretty easily indeed. But not bad, though. Still getting good uh, experience gain, too. And if we can get to level 4, we'll be higher level than the enemies in this area. But, um, ooh, here's the toad. Let's see if we can maybe... Oh, okay, he's running. He's definitely running. Okay, we need to catch him off guard. That's definitely... Oh, or we could do that. Um, hmm, it doesn't look like he catches his paper toad at the moment. One of the other paper toads might have an idea how to stack him. Try searching in a place you haven't searched yet. Hmm, if you say so. But, uh, I think just catching him off guard would be your answer, but if you say so. Um, so it says there's still toads in this area, so we should take a look around, just in case. But, oh, here we go. Here's some toads. Let's grab all three of these guys, because there are very obviously three of them. But, uh, nice try on being a fence. But pretty smart, though. Um, ah, uh, I can't tell you how good it feels to stretch out. Well, that's good to hear. Um, yeah, I was definitely getting a cramp in my hat. I mean, my head. We know those are hats, buddies. <laughs> we learned that already. Um, huh? You say there's a toad who's so fast you can't catch him. That is indeed true. Then maybe these will come in handy. These? What do you mean by these? Um, hmm? Oh, they're giving us something. Uh, what do we get? Oh, you got a pair of dash socks. Thanks, uh, well then, guess we'll be packing it in. Thank you so much. No problem. What's a pair of dash socks do? I'm not really sure. But there's three more toads for us, though. Oh, I almost forgot. Hmm? You forgot something. Before we go, let's get in a little practice on how to use the dash socks. Try dashing around through those uh, spinny flowers behind you. Oh, okay. 
Start moving with the circle pad, then press and hold the X button to jump. Okay, and then when you land, to begin dashing. Okay, but there is a way to jump as both of- as all three of them, though. That's good to hear, because I wasn't really sure on that one. But this will definitely help us catch, uh, our little toad that's, uh, running- running like the flash around that other area. Um, Fantabulous. That was pretty fantabulous, I would guess. The spinny flowers are in full bloom, thanks to your masterful dashing. If you ever need a refresher on how to dash, just check out the guide. Um, next let's practice the slide. Slide. It's useful for catching someone who's running away from you. Really? Okay. There's a slide attached to it. First, dash towards me. Okay, press X, and then once you land to dash again, obviously. Okay. Oop. First we gotta dash at ya. Well, first let me get the dash ready. Okay, there we go. Just hold- I forgot you had to hold it down. There we go. Okay, and then it looks like- oh yeah, you press A. I saw it. Stop. When you see the explanation mark, or point, press the A, B, or Y button, which I already did. So, sorry, we already got you. But there we go. Not bad. Okay, cool. And that's the slide. You can use it to nab someone who's running away from you. I wonder what happens if you use that on an enemy. Because that looks like something that might give you the advantage in a fight. One last thing. Um, what's that? Chase after me. Press A, B, or Y when you see the explanation mark to slide. Okay, we'll try it. We'll definitely try it. But pretty cool though. I like the ability. It's definitely something new. We haven't seen this ability yet in the Mario and Luigi games, for sure. So this is definitely something new. But not bad. Not bad at all. Oof, nice job. Now you're ready to catch just about anyone. That is definitely true. But there's number six. There's still one missing, though. Not really sure where number eight could possibly be, but uh, we're definitely catching you, buddy. You could definitely try and run, but uh, oh, I did it right when the explanation mark popped up, but apparently that was still not enough. He's faster than us, actually. Okay, so we do need to catch him off guard, for sure, but uh, there we go. Got him. Barely got him, but I got him. I was sure one of Bowser's minions was after me, so I ran as fast as I could. Luckily, it was only you guys. Color me relieved. <laughs> you could see us, but sure. <laughs> sure. But let's uh, definitely unfurl all the flowers here, because maybe they're inside one of them. Nope, definitely not. There was a toad that went back here before. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well, we found the uh, the missing toad. But uh, I'm curious, actually. Let me try out the... Uh, the dash- oh yeah, X actually, yeah, that instantly makes us jump. Okay, cool. I'm actually very happy about that. And dashing does not do it. Okay. It was worth a shot. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not, but now I know for sure. But it's good to know. It definitely is good to know. And then honestly, hammer is here. It is the good one. But wait for him to all charge up and go like that. I actually thought it was always going to put Paper Mario at the bottom for the excellent hammer, but it actually changes the positions of them, and you need to kind of remember that is something I'm noticing. Oh, and there's our toad in the battle. Cool. <laughs> we saved him. So that was the exact one actually holding the toad, and then get ready for you, and down you go. Sorry, buddy. But it's not bad. And we might- yep, we got a level for Paper Mario. So let's see here. Is his uh thing gonna go up? Yes, it is. So 1 HP, 1 BP, 1 power, 1 defense, 2 speed, and 1 stash. So he still gets this, the same levels as him, and he does have BP. So there's no way he doesn't have Bro's attacks then, because he does have BP. So, interesting. Okay. Because he would he would have 0 if he can't use it at all. Um, I was starting to get queasy riding around like that. Almost lost my lunch there. Thankfully, you stepped in, so my lunch remains in its rightful place. <laughs> well, into my pocket you go. Oh, that is number eight. Huh, I thought we were missing one, but apparently not. Well, actually, yeah, that was the one we were missing. I just got confused. But you saved the paper toads. Yeah, we did. And there's eight of the 50 of them in this area. That's quite a lot of them, but... Honestly, with how paper toads hide in previous games for Paper Mario, which the ones that you can collect them, well, they hide in you know, big stacks, so it's not too hard to find them, honestly. Not sure about in this game, but I guess we'll find out. Well, hello there. It's, uh, oh, it's our Lakitu buddy. Hey! 
Um, I went ahead and took those paper toads to Peach's castle. Well, thank you, buddy. Luckily, they were super light, so there was no danger of uh, shell strain. Well, that's really good to hear. Well, let's keep up the good work and rescue even more paper toads. I'll definitely try. Well then, I'll be off. Best of luck to you. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you later then. <laughs> but good to know, though, the lack of two that's, uh, yeah, it was here. I thought so. But I don't see any way of us actually doing anything with that at the current moment. But, uh, noted, though. Definitely noted. Just because, uh, at the current moment, we're definitely not doing anything with that. But I do like the idea of being able to dash around. That's gonna be pretty good, especially... Oh, delivery for the two Mario and Luigi. It comes directly from Peach's castle. Oh, Hey, it's you again. Hey, buddy. Uh, what's that? Oh, and this letter is for you, too. Letter. Okay, we'll take a letter. Guessing from Peach herself, more than likely. No, it's from the Toads. Dear Mario's and Luigi, I am the one of the paper Toads you have rescued in Peach's castle. Hmm. Okay. I wanted to thank you for saving my friends. That was quite fast. They just joined up with me at the castle. Hmm. Well, thank you. Oh, and there's Toadette. As our way of saying thanks for the help, they're going to give us this box. Okay, cool. We made you something to use in battle. We hope you like it. Sincerely, the Paper Toads. Hmm, okay. We'll take the, the Star Box. It's definitely something that Toadette and the Toads that we saw earlier were working on. So that's pretty cool. You got something to use in battle. Not sure how we're going to use it, but I'll take it. Alrighty then. I'm off. I see you uh, next time you have a delivery. Okay, I'll see you later. I'm very glad I gave you that mushroom then, because uh, we're going to be running into you quite a lot, it seems. Oh, well, that was pretty sweet. So the more paper toads you rescue, the more battle items I'll make. Sounds that's indeed the way. Oh, that's even more incentive to keep rescuing them. That definitely would be the case. Um, Look, there they are. Our orders are to hunt them down and destroy them, so you know, let's do it already. Uh, Goombas? Oh, yep, definitely Goombas. Wasn't sure if there were paratroopers or Goombas there, but, uh, nope, that's just a bunch of Go Goombas. Quite a lot of them, actually. Trio attack has now been added to Paper Mario's command blocks. Trio attack. Oh, so that must be his BP attacks. Okay, so here it is. So we wouldn't have seen it in the command wheel, even if we checked. Oh, let's use that item you just got. Select the command block for trio attack. This is another one of you, um... This is another one you might want to practice. Okay, well, we'll definitely take a look at it. And added the chapter to our battle guide, obviously. So this is our new thing, so that's what they gave us our... Well, what will be our triple attack here. Press the character's buttons A and B and Y to hit the ball back at the wall. Okay... Return each hit and then press the character's buttons in order to do a special attack. Oh. Okay. That definitely looks like it's going to be interesting. But uh, maybe it's not too hard. But uh, we'll definitely be ready for this because this does not look like it's going to be the easiest thing uh, yet. But we still got another attack there so it looks like we're still good. It's more Paper Mario that... We're trying to get the timing. But we still got a great, though. So even if you mess up once, you're still good. Hmm. Okay. Let's keep doing it until we get it. Because obviously it's going to be something we need to learn. But if you mess up twice, it's over, pretty much. But, uh... Honestly, I kind of want it to go through me at the moment. But, uh... It's still going for some reason. Hmm. Okay, come on. There we go. You had to swing at it. Okay. I just wanted to end, uh... End the, uh... The belts there, just so I can kind of get the timing in, because we need the timing right. It looks like you have- oh, yep, it's after second belts, got it. Okay, so that's the answer. Swing, swing, swing. There we go, got it. That's the excellent. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, now I got it. I got it now. Cool. <laughs> Honestly, a pretty cool ability. We'll definitely go about using that then. <laughs> so let's try out the trio racket in battle for official fight reasons. But, uh, that's a pretty big hammer, that's for sure. But, uh, honestly, I'm surprised that doesn't do damage if it does. But, uh, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. But here we go. We slam them into a nice little, uh, 
papery uh, fate there for all those uh, who accidentally did not swing with the right character there and messed up completely. But, uh, not bad. But yeah, we, we squished those uh, regular normal Goombas into a nice papery fate there. <laughs> not bad. Oh, well, that was amazing. So much power packed into a tiny little box. It looks like all three of you will need to work together to use it. So if you, um, even one of you can't move, you're out of luck. Seems that way. But can only Paper Mario use it? Because we don't know if that's in the Mario and Luigi's uh, wheel or not. Um, remember it uses BP just like Rose attacks. So always pay attention to how many you have left. Okay. We'll definitely keep a uh, note on that. Um, oh, and while I'm here... If you're having a hard time dodging attacks. Oh, they're telling us about the block. We'll always take a block, but I don't think we'll need it. Well, you can always press the X button to use emergency block. You won't avoid getting hit, but you'll take less damage. Alright, let's go. Good luck. <laughs> but, uh, no, I kind of just wanted to test out the, uh, that to be fair. So, do no. Okay, so Paper Mario specifically can only use the trio attack. Got it. Okay, so now we know for sure. So we need to keep that in mind, because that's going to be majorly important. It does look like maybe the Goombas and enemies attack slower, now that we actually have four, or, well, not four, but three people attacking. So, not bad. Cool. I'll definitely take it, because that'll come in handy with the fact that uh, it's easier to deal with uh, a bunch of enemies if you can see what you're doing. A little bit easier, but uh, them slowing it down a little bit so we can prepare for a jump on any one of the Mario Brothers or Paper Mario, which is always a good thing. But what's up here, though? Just because... No, this is where we were before. So we need to go to the one spot we didn't go before, which was down here. Still can't do anything with this thing, I think. We saw it earlier, but adventure hints. Not sure how to proceed. Perhaps there is a conveniently placed object for you to dash into. Oh, so that's for dashing into. Well, let's check out this side because we didn't go this way before. Oh, there's something on the other side there. It's like a cloud house based on the picture. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll definitely keep a note of that. But honestly, not too bad. Definitely uh, liking all the new little things in this for sure. I want to try out this trio racket one more time before we think about ending off today's episode, just because I would like to, you know, get a good round of a real round of it down, because it is going to take a, a little bit of learning, because we are dealing with multiple characters attacking at the same time, and it's kind of like a good old uh, partners in time with that fact, but not too bad. There we go. We got an excellent, but honestly, a little bit easier than partners in time sometimes, because then you don't have to worry about pressing the X button as well. But this time you just have to press the Y button, so it's one less button. But not too bad. Definitely not too bad at all. <laughs> but there we go, we got level 4 for Mario. And that should give us another dot towards our Mushroom rank being upgraded. But there we go, 2 HP, 1 BP, 3 power. 3 power is really nice. 1 defense, 2 speed, and 2 stash. Not at all bad. Not at all bad at all. Don't know if those are pre-generated numbers or not though. That's one thing I'm not sure about. Because the thing is, is it could be, while um, it may not be, it could be randomly. So, it could already be selected before the game even starts, or maybe it's just always the same numbers. I kind of want to check somebody's, like, playthrough in between episodes just to see if it is, is the same numbers. Because I am quite curious about that, because if it is, that would mean it's not going to be too hard to figure out, like, how much strength we're going to get over the course of the game. But, um, honestly, in this case scenario, because we're dealing with the other guys, it should be easier to just knock them all into there. But thankfully, you can skip the hammer there if you need to, which I might end up doing pretty often, because that's a, it's quite a long uh, wind-up, though. Oh, messed up again. We're definitely not getting the chance for the excellent, and definitely not if we're going to be attacking that way. But not bad. We got a good chunk of them out, so it's not like it really matters that we messed up. More of the case where it matters is when we're dealing with bosses, for sure. There's no way around that one. 
when we're dealing with bosses, we're going to want to make sure we're always hitting that perfect. But for the right, right now, it's not too bad. We're getting one-up mushrooms for free from the little scuttle bugs there. So honestly, we're perfectly fine, even if we do mess up a little bit. But not bad. Level 4 for Luigi. And then honestly, 3 HP, 1 BP, 2 power, 1 defense, 2 speed, and 2 stash. Level, we got 30 stash now, so 30% of the time we should be should be getting a crits. Not 100%, but more than likely. I'm quite curious about the cloud house back there, though. Because I know for sure we can get to that side if we do get there just by running into these. So, let's see. Yeah, you definitely run onto it. And it definitely flings you. <laughs> Not bad. But also, the enemies are respawning is something I'm realizing, too. So... Noted about that, so going after every enemy may not be a tactic we employ in this playthrough. Because that's the only reason why we attacked every enemy is because they didn't really respawn in the previous games. So definitely going to need to keep a note of that because that is definitely not going to do us too good later if we're not being, uh, being careful. Um, honestly, I think we're going to go paratroopers for Mario and Luigi. Because they can get quite a lot of them in a good stomp here. And it looks like we can get three of them with just a normal jump from Mario. Which is pretty good. But there we go. Now we just got the Scuttlebugs. And Scuttlebugs are pretty simple for the most part. Didn't get the... I thought they were going to stop underneath us. But sadly they didn't. But definitely uh, pretty easy enemies once you get them down. Also I think... Uh, yeah, we're missing a Mario. <laughs> I thought we were, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> So I didn't mention anything, but yeah, we're definitely missing one, so we should probably make sure to make another copy here, if we get the chance to. And he is attacking us first, but we did knock him out, so it doesn't really matter. Kind of unfortunate you can't go for a copy outside of a fight, unless maybe, maybe by doing that, maybe it does it, you never know. But, uh, definitely not too bad, but, uh... Honestly, oh, maybe... No, that's just a normal... That's just a normal Paper Mario jump. Oh, Mausers. It's definitely pretty cool looking. And it's more Paper Mario themed here. Oh, so this is what your home world looks like. Apparently, yeah, definitely so. Oh, so all these paper trees and stuff must have flown out from the book too. Hmm? Luigi saying no. Oh, then how did all this get here? Good question. Oh, well, there's a giant uh, Bowser Bowser face right there. Oh, of course. It's definitely not looking good for us, that's for sure. But it looks like we just need to dash into that thing uh, when we get the chance. But honestly, with that being said, I think this is where we're going to more than likely end off today's episode. Since, let's be honest here, we have done quite a decent amount in today's episode. We got to meet Paper Mario. We got a whole new version of a bros attack being the trio attack. We definitely have learned quite a lot today. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls. Thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode. And keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.